back to 843 TV. We are excited today to be here at the Holy Trinity Classical Christian School talking with students and staff. And up next, we have Miss Liz Booman. She is a second grade teacher and directing a wonderful production coming up. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Tell us a little bit about your role overall here at the school. Yeah, well, I teach second grade during the day. And then as soon as school's over, I, uh, I go and direct our plays. We do a one act in the fall, and we also do a musical in the spring. So I do theater year-round uh, here. Teacher by day and director by night. <laughs> yes, like that. Like that. absolutely. Now, I'm kind of curious. We also have two students joining us. We have Banks Bozard and Alexandra Hahn. How long have you guys been involved in the theater program here at Holy Trinity? This is my first year at Holy Trinity and my first year um, acting in the one act, but I've been acting before and this is a very nice experience. How about you, Banks? Um, I've been working for her for, uh, since second grade. And you are in what grade now? Seven. All right. Well, so five years. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yes. So this particular production coming up is called Bear Skinner. Can you share about what that is about? Yeah, the Bear Skinner is um, an adaption of a fairy tale by the Grimm Brothers. Um, and it's a really unusual fairy tale. It's um, about a man who bargains with the devil. The devil wants the man's soul, and the man wants riches more than anything, or so he thinks. And so it's just um, the devil puts all these obstacles in his way. <laughs> Um, the devil promises him riches if he can overcome the obstacles, but if he, if he fails, the devil gets his soul. So it's a very exciting story with a lot of uh, tension in it. Leave it to the Grimm Brothers. They're exactly. All, they walk a little bit on the dark side of that line. Yeah. Exactly. Very interesting material. Now, you're taking this into competition with Skiza. Now, first and foremost, let's explain to our audience what is Skiza? SCISA stands for the South Carolina Independent School Association. Great. And yeah. what is the One Act competition? So the One Act competition is just a really short play. The play has to be 30 minutes or less. And so um, the schools in our region, we come together, we compete these little 30 second plays, and then the winner of the region advances to a state competition. Oh. Wow, that's neat. You have competition in all kinds of sports, but for dra drama, yeah. that's, a, that's neat. So you two have a role in the play. Alex, tell us a little bit about yours. I am Karen. I play um, a very daydreamer per, uh, girl. I love butterflies, <laughs> and I'm very uplifting. Okay. And go. Banks, what's your role? Um, I am the Bader Skinner. Ooh. So I do make the deal with the devil. Whoa. Yeah. Very, very go. interesting. <laughs> so what is your favorite part about directing this middle school age group? I think my favorite part is probably um, middle schoolers' enthusiasm. Mm. Uh, it's a great age for, for energy. They have a lot of energy. They have a lot of zeal. But um, because they're um, middle schoolers, they also can really focus their energy and channel it into a great <laughs> performance. So yeah, I would say enthusiasm and their ability to harness that enthusiasm. How much time are, have, have you been, been preparing this? When is the play, by the way? When will it come out? Our, our regional competition is November 6th. Yeah, and we've, we auditioned in August, so. Can the public come and see this as well, or how does well, that work? Sadly, since um, we don't have enough space for, uh, for a big audience, we'll just do some very small, select um, presentations of it. So um, we'll see how, how, uh, how many invitations we can get out, but we'll get out as many as we can. So I'm curious to know from Alexandra and from Banks, what is your favorite thing about working with Ms. Booman and with being a part of the production? <laughs> My favorite part is her enthusiasm. <laughs> she's very word, nice. Guys. She's very godly and she's a good example for us. So mm, great. I really like her. I really enjoy the professionalism that she comes uh, with and she asks for work from us um, and her drive. That's great. Wow, those are some really impressive things. And circling back to, you know, what we said in the beginning, it's it's really more about teaching 
is beyond the classroom. It's teaching those life lessons and those examples for the young people. And clearly, that's what's happening here by the comments that these young people made. So that's just wonderful. Absolutely. So uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Oh, what is, when you conclude this production, what is the plan moving forward? Um, for the theater, for our theater, for theater program. Yeah, uh -huh. well, we actually will start auditions probably in November for our spring musical, so um, which which is open to the public and um, is a big a big bigger production. Well, you also have. Are you doing a Christmas show this year? We we do more of a Christmas concert. Yes. But yes, we do a Christmas concert as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been to that. It's pretty awesome. What other roles are you involved in at school besides drama? Share a little bit about your your experience as a student. I love this school. They're very nice. Um, nobody bullies anyone. It's all nice. Latin, I need to catch up on. <laughs> yeah. And thanks. I'm always curious because you've now been involved in performing arts for quite a long time. How do you feel that impacts the rest of your performance in academics? I think it uh, heavily impacts it. It's benefited me um, greatly and I feel like it's helped me in academics. You know, I think it's quite evident actually when I watch you two, you present yourselves yes. so well. Mm -hmm. And we're actually gonna meet some upperclassmen now uh, moving yeah. forward after the break, so stick around for more 843 TV.